So the first thing we need to do is we need to simply get ourselves the design and you want to drag this into Photoshop. So for the example of this video, I'll be using this design right here. Left click on here and drag this into Photoshop. You want to scale this down and we're going to fit it onto the t-shirt right up to here. You then want to right click on here and go to Warp. And you just want to create yourself a warp in perspective as if it's on the t-shirt itself. So then once you're happy with the changes, go ahead and press enter. From here, we also want to take a look at creating the creases. Now with the creases, what we're going to do is we're going to apply it onto the actual design itself. You can achieve this by hiding this layer. You want to go up to file, go down to save as, and we need to save this as a PSD file, call it whatever you want. So I'm just going to call it mock-up design and then go ahead and click on save. Go ahead and click on OK. And now that you've saved it, we can unhide this layer. Make sure you're selecting it and you want to go up to filter, go down to this sort, this place. You want to set it to 10, 10, stretch to fit, repeat edge pixels, and then take the last one and then go ahead and click on OK. You want to select yourself the design or the one that you've just saved, click on open. And as you can see, this is now applied it onto the t-shirt. From here, what we can do is we can go ahead and make sure that we have cut off the bottom area right here. We can do this by hiding this layer. You want to get yourself a selection of the main image, and we're just going to use the quick selection tool for the time being. You just want to make sure you have it on a plus, set it to something like 63, and then you want to get yourself a selection of the t-shirt. Sometimes it may go outside of the box, so you will need to also hold Alt or Option key, Take it away from here and then also take it away from this side as well. We're also going to take it away from here and then also take it away from this bit right here. From here, you want to press Control or Command and J. With this new layer, we're going to unhide the main image or the design and we're going to hold Alt or Option key and then left click in between to clip it onto the layer below. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to create the correct lighting. And we can do this by holding Alt, left click on the thumbnail for the design. And we're going to go back onto the main image, go ahead and press Control or Command and J. And you want to bring this one above all of these. Once again, make sure you've clipped this one onto the layer below. And we're going to right click on this one go to blending options. You want to get yourself a color overlay and set it to a black color. It can either be black or white. Press OK and you want to set the blend mode to color. We want to drain the color and then we want to press OK. From here, we're going to right click on here and convert this into a smart object. And this will allow us to change the effect to a hard light. And as you can see, it now has applied it onto the design. However, at the moment, we need to do a few adjustments here and there so we can go ahead and select the design. We can lower the opacity to something like, let's say 88, and that just makes it a little bit more faded and makes it look more realistic. We can also adjust the lighting of the creases by going to the top layer, hold Control or Command, left click on this to get ourselves a selection, we want to go up to the adjustments and we want to get ourselves the levels. With the levels, we can now adjust the shadows. We can control the midtones and the highlights as well. So preferably for this design, I would say something like 0 0.70 and then 237 would look good. As you can see, this looks a lot better. You can then minimize this and then make sure you have clipped this onto the layer below. And we're going to make this look more intensive. 
just by simply selecting the layer below. Press Ctrl or Command and J. Move this one above the levels. Make sure you've clipped this back onto the layer below and same for the top one as well. And there we go, as you can see, that looks a lot better. If you would like to see how to change the color of the t-shirt or revert it to black and white, then click on the screen and watch the next video. But for now, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.